What up, what up, what up? How y'all doing? It's Ja Girl. Hey, I just wanted to pop on here. I wanted to give you guys a message like I promised. Now, I'm not going to go live, but I have a word for you. And I just wanted to deliver it and share it with you. Like I said, on Tuesday, I'm going to give you a word. Yesterday, I went on and gave you some encouragement, some mistakes that I made. And I'm growing. I'm growing and I'm being stretched and I'm learning and it's awesome. And I just wanted to share my experiences with you, but I also wanted to give you the word. So there's this story in Luke 5, right? So I'm gonna illustrate it the way I know how to illustrate it and the way I know how to preach it because it's amazing. So in Luke, there's a story. Jesus is doing all his healings, pa, 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 pa. You know, blind man, pa. You know, lame man, pa. He's just got it. You know, woman with the issue of blood, healed 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 and, and so word is getting around about this guy named jesus and the dude's like just killing the game the healing game you know what i'm saying so here comes jesus he's got all his his disciples with him and stuff like that so there's a section of people there's these bunch of guys right that they're holding their friend in a mat they said brother hey jesus is coming to town he's gonna be here next week we gotta get you to the feet of jesus so a couple of his buddies said hey round up era armando get emmanuel hey get peter get you know my other friend trayvon and let's do this like let's get the boys let's pick you up and let's go to jesus because he's gonna heal you he's got what it takes right so here's these friends they get it and they're like oh man like okay like how are we gonna do this they're like we're just gonna get there and we're like you know what let's just formulate a plan when we get there no worries right there's a, a trash can coming of course right in the middle of my video but so here comes here comes these friends and they're like hey, hey, hey armando you know like we got we got manuel we got iguando we got trevan we got you know juan Pablo, and we're gonna lift this thing up so these four friends are carrying this map and they got the lame friend i mean he would walk to jesus himself but he lay you know what i'm saying like you sometimes you don't have an option you have to count on the people that you selected to be around and do life with so here's this guy he's lame right he's just lame like he would go to the throne room himself but he's lame he can't do anything because he's lame so he, dude dude's like okay 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 so how are we gonna do this how are we gonna do this guys like I, I hate to put this on you like you know you don't have to put me all the way like maybe halfway and how long is it is it gonna be a long journey friends like hey bro 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 we got you Let's just do it and let's just figure this out as we go. They pick him up. They walk him all the way to where Jesus is going. They found the house where Jesus is at. It's like a Coachella, scratch that, it's a Beachella concert. Beyonce is headlining at this house, basically. Jesus is at this house. It is packed full. These guys are like, oh man, eh, que pasa? It's full to the max, man. How are we going to get our boy in here? How are we going to get him through all these crowds, right? So they're like going and then and, and Don Juanos and Trayvon and Juan and Con Carlos, they have to figure out a way to get their friend to the face of Jesus. They want their friend's healing just as bad as the lame guy does, right? That's to me, that's powerful. Let's get this though. So they're getting, they see this pack. People are coming oozing from the front. There's like lines to go see the face of Jesus, to get healing, to, to go and receive. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to a Beachella concert, right? And, and, and get to be like this close to Beyonce. Like that was Jesus. Like they were like all in there. So everyone who heard about the man named Jesus, whoever had an infection, a disease, something wrong with them, they were all swarming there. So these guys were like, bro, what do we do? What do we do, right? So one of the friends, I believe it was Don Carlos, he said, hey, 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 hey. let's see, let's see what's around the corner of the house, huh? Let me go take a little peek and I'll be right back, okay? You hold on to our boy. Let me go take a little peek, see if there's any other rooms or maybe there's another door or something, huh? Okay, I'll be right back. Don Carlos goes around, you know, he sees everything, you know, he's looking at, there's people everywhere, right? And so, like, Trayvon's like, hey, 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 you see something? And Don Carlos like, hey, why don't we, like, you know, try the roof or something? 
And the boys are like, how are we going to get this dude to do lame, Don Carlos? Lame, Don Carlos. How are we going to get him up to the... Is, if we hold him, we can carry him. Let's just see. I mean, we didn't come here with a plan, but we know the man is in the house. We just need to get our boy in the house. Now, we can't go through the front door because everyone's in the front door. So, let's do the best we can. So boy said, all right, all right, all right. How are we gonna do this? We got, we got a ladder, we got, what do we what do we got here? We got a little little jumperoo, kangaroo, boy's lame. Can't do anything. So here's Don Carlos, Trayvon, you know, Paul, Don Paul, and Juan Carlos. They all get together. They pull their boy up. Like, and, and get this, it's not just the fact that they couldn't go through the front door, but the fact that they stayed and made up another plan, a strategy to get their homie to the front of Jesus for healing. They wanted his healing just as bad as Jaboy did, because Jaboy was lame. He was lame. He didn't have any other options. He relied on his friends. Bro, I'm pretty sure the whole time he was like, hey, don't worry about it, bro. Like, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. You know, I've been I've been like this for, hey, bro, don't even worry about it. I'm laying like, don't even worry about it. You know, I've been like this for years. You know, like, hey, like, let's just go back. Let's just go back. This is ridiculous. I'm not going on the roof. This is ridiculous. You know, I'm heavy. I, I've gained weight. I've just, I've just been lame and I've just been gaining weight. Like, don't even worry about it anymore. And they're like, hey, hey, hey we got you. So they go up to the roof. They pull your boy up. I mean, we're talking to work, sweat effort so they get to the top of the roof closed no no exit no emergency exit no fire exits at the front of this roof Trayvon looks at Dingo and he's like hey man we should have came up here before we bring your boy bro like what the heck what kind of idea is this you know and he's like okay okay wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute let me think for a minute right they're all like come on we thought maybe there was an, a way up here but there's no way how are we doing this right now? What is going to happen? Our boy is up here. We just we just drug him over here. Almost dropped him several times. We got him on this roof. We're trying to get him to Jesus. And there's no way through. The front door was closed. The side was closed. There was no other door. So we took him to the roof. But the roof doesn't have any windows or anything to put this boy through. Again, another idea. Trayvon says, Hey, but wait a minute. What if we cut through the roof? Boy, these, are you kidding me right now? I'm lame. What are you gonna do, push me through it? Like, there's no way. We're gonna cut up somebody's house. And you're gonna try to get like, boys, boys, boys. I'm sure the lame guy was like, boys, boys, guy, guy. You know how when you know you're inconveniencing other people, when they start making ideas for you that are so crazy, and you're like, bro, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Hey, I'm gonna be okay, right? Like, don't worry about it. I'm gonna survive. Yeah, I've been like this forever. Hey, hey, next year, next year, I'll go to counseling. Uh, two years from now, I'll go to therapy later, later, but don't worry about me. Hey, don't spend money on me. Hey, don't, don't, don't worry about me, right? That's how we get. Because when we're lame, we're not thinking. We're, we're trying to just fix us, but we've been lame for so long. I think sometimes not only is our legs paralyzed, but I'm pretty sure even like the empathy gets paralyzed and all, all the, the places in our spirit become anemic and atrophied because you're not working them. But I, I believe that this there's a, there's a story in here and it's in a one of encouragement. So Trayvon gets the boys to cut a hole and it's messy and it's crazy and this is an outlandish idea they still don't know if this will get your boy that's lame to the foot of jesus they're just going by what they think because they want his healing just as much as your boy does he's cut a hole through they weave him down there Jesus is in the middle of some miraculous healing you know imagine benny hinn just going at it and here comes And he's like, what is this hay? What is falling from the roof right now? <laughs> They're lowering him down. Boy is like, hey Jesus. <laughs> um, so 
um see what had happened was don carlos went around the house see and there was no other windows or anything to get inside but also we went to the roof and we kind of uh trayvon had this idea of like putting a hole in it i don't mean to disrupt the surface or anything but I, I, my friends you know they're just crazy you gotta forgive them you know I, I can't move so um if you wouldn't mind maybe calling them down here and uh, we could get out of your hair it's, it's not a big deal right but Jesus, instead of saying like, wow, what an inconvenience. What the heck? You interrupted service. What the heck? You want to do altar call right now? We're in the flow, man. We're in the flow of the spirit. Like I got, I, I got downloads right now. Like why are you interrupting me? I'm in the middle of a prophetic word. Why are you trying to interrupt me? Don't you know who I am? Jesus didn't say any of that. He said, your faith has made you well. Lame boy said, oh shoot, what? <laughs> Jesus got him healed, man. Boy got up, said, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Boys in the roof like, ah, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's my boy. That's my boy. He could walk, right? Don Carlos is like, see, I told you. We just got to fight a little harder. j like, yeah, you right, you right, you right. Hey, but whose idea was to cut the roof, right? boys come down they celebrating with their guy here's my point to this story and it blessed my socks off get you some friends that want your healing just as bad as you want healing for yourself if you surround yourself with those kind of friends that say "Uh uh-uh we heard jesus is in town we're gonna get you there hey but it's a good inconvenience now we got you bro we don't know how long this is going to take, but we're going to carry you. We got you. We got you. We got you. And then get you some friends that when they see that it's an impossible situation and you over here like, bro, let's just turn back. You know, it's Beachella. You know what I mean? Like, we ain't going to get in this thing. Get you some friends that say, hey, le, hold on. Let me take a little lap around the house. Let's see what kind of, you know, let's see what kind of windows or something is open. You know what I mean? Get you some friends that will go around the house looking for open windows get you some friends that when there is no other way they come up with some risky crazy ideas like how about the roof how about we figure out something not on this level let's go to a higher level and see if our perspective changes that's power now one of the things that i'm learning in this season friends and i'm going to end with this because I wanted this message to be brief. I wanted it to encourage you, but I wanted you to make the big lesson that I want you to take away is who are you surrounding yourself with? Is it a Don Carlos or is it a Trayvon that's going to crack open the roof? Is it a, you know, Trevor who's going to carry the mat with you? Who's going to be like, bro, we want your healing just as bad as you want your healing get you around a community now i know it's been hard because churches are not joining together and community is kind of dismantling a little bit this is exactly what the enemy wants but what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to fight for the people that are gonna pick up your mat and they're gonna fight for your healing just as much as you want to fight for it but maybe you're too weak maybe you're too lame maybe you're too paralyzed maybe you're too anemic maybe you're too um atrophied in your muscles your spiritual muscles to do anything else you can't fight any longer you can't move anymore you can't walk towards your dream anymore you lost motivation you lost energy you lost all types of vision you have nothing left to give who are you surrounding yourself with get you around some friends now right now if you can't tell me that you have a community that will be like these friends in luke 5 that went around and said, we gonna get our boy healing today. If you can't find, or you can't figure out that you have at least one or two, man, count yourself blessed if you can say that you got a whole squad, cause that's amazing. But make sure you fight first for community. In this season, when the enemy is attacking us hardcore with COVID, shutting down churches, life groups are on pause, small groups are on pause, Make sure you fight for your community. Who is your community? And then begin to fight for them. Say, hey, don't be like the lame guy. I don't want to inconvenience you, but I'm just over here broken. No, get you around people that are going to fight for you. And, and you have to let them know that you're broken. Hey, if you had any option, don't you want to get saved? 
share with your friends. Check in on your friends, okay? You guys, I love you. I hope you were encouraged by this message. I was just being me, Goofy Sophia, coming at you live with something that I've been learning and encouraged by, and I wanted to bless you by it. Hey, you guys have a fantastic week. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing live workout, and I'm going to be posting it on my Facebook, so if you want join me in the morning. We're going to go work out. We're going to sweat. We're going to do it together. We're going to have a great time. All right. You guys be blessed. Be brave. Be bold. Take risks. Ah, I love you guys.